Hello everyone. In this video, we are to see about positioning of views in orthographic projection. We know that orthographic projection is a multi-view technique. In this case, once when we have the object in first quadrant or in third quadrant, we need to create multiple views. Considering in first angle projection, the object is held in first quadrant, the observer looks at from this position to get the front view. In the same way, the observer looks at from this position to get the top view. Here, we need to note one important thing. The observer's eye, then the object, then comes the plane in the front view. In the same fashion, eye, object and the plane. This is how the first angle projection works out. Once when we rotate the horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise, we get it like this. On the other side, once when we have the object in third quadrant, here we have the object is held in third quadrant. The observer is here to get the front view and here to get the top view. Look at it. Observer is here. I, then comes the plane, then comes the object. Even in the top view, I of the observer, then comes the plane and then the top view. Again, in the same concept, rotating horizontal plane 90 degree clockwise, we get the front and top view. Considering these two, in both the cases, the front views are the same, the top views are the same, but their positioning is different. Here you see that the top view of the object is obtained at the bottom, whereas in third angle projection, the top view is obtained on the top. This is how this vary. The positioning of views vary for first angle projection in, and also for the third angle projection. We have heard that, we have learned that for the orthographic projection, multiple views are drawn. Yes, it is good to have, it's simple. If we can explain an object in a single view, that's well and good. But once when we have many details in it, we need to go for multiple views. At times we go for two views as we see here. Sometimes we may have to add one or two more. Yeah, even in many drawings we can see three views are drawn. How do we position that views? That's the important thing. As we know that as many as six views can be drawn for, the, for a component according to the details what it has. Here you see that. Considering a 3D object and going with first angle projection. How do we get the six views and where do we position it? We'll be able to see it. Here, considering the object, imagine that the object is held within a cube of transparent phases. Considering the object is held here and we have a six phases surrounding it. Considering this concept, I, object, plane. The front view is obtained here. I, object, plane. We will be able to get it like this. Then the top view, I, object, plane. So when we look at from the top, we'll be able to see this and this. So here we'll be able to get it like this. On the other side, when we try to see it from this side, I, object, plane. That is the left side view is obtained here as like shown. On the other side, when you want to get it from that side, the eye of the observer is there, eye, object, then comes the plane. Here we get the right side view. In this case, once when we look at from that side, we just get a rectangular view. Other than that, we don't see anything, but still we have it just here. That's why we have made it in dashed lines. You'll be able to see this much in detail in the upcoming videos. Meanwhile, once when we see it from the bottom, as I told you, there are multiple views, even bottom view is possible. Bottom, I, object, then comes the plane. So the same fashion, again, here also we will not be able to see one or two of the edges. So this is also marked with dashed line. Another view, that is a rear view. So we have to look at from the rear side, rear side, that is I, then comes the object, then comes the plane. So once when we look at from the rear side, we'll be able to get it like this. So we have got all the six views on the faces of the cube. Now, where to position it? As we did here, we had a concept. Horizontal plane need to be tilted 90 degree clockwise. In the same fashion, 
here though we have a method to uh, like unboxing the thing like that right we we need to uh, rotate the phases in order to make it a single plane that's a very important thing we need to get it in a single plane we need to have it simple now this phase is tilted this way this phase goes up this phase comes down here we have two folds right so it comes down comes this way to the right and further rightward in this fashion when we do like that we get all the six views in a single plane just have a look at front view then bottom view what we obtained here is at the top similarly the top view what we obtained is at the bottom now once when we looked at from that side that is right side view i object plane that's why the right side view has come to the left in the same way the left side view has come here and the rear view has come to the right extreme end we need to note certain things the right side view is at the left on the other side left side view is on the right in the same fashion top view is at the bottom bottom view is at top the rear view can be drawn either on the right extreme end or to the left extreme end it's not a problem even uh, anyhow the same views but it will be taking a different uh, change yes it has to come to that side or else when it is attached to this one it will be coming to this direction okay so all six views are drawn this is very important now we have uh, a clear understanding about the object for this object maybe this many not necessary but when the component is complicated with too many details we need to go uh, for multiple views as many as six views as shown here now remember in mind for the third angle projection this is a bit different for that angle projection the same cube the transparent faces the object is held but we need to remember one thing in mind we need to go by this technique we need to have i plane then object i plane object for third angle projection even if you draw like that the views are same but the positions swap right angle right side view is drawn on the right left side view is drawn on the left top view is drawn at the top bottom view is drawn at the bottom that is how the positioning of views vary for first angle projection and third angle projection positioning is very important because only by knowing the position we understand how the object is so whatever the technique what we follow we need to understand this and we need to practice it see you next time